Hey guys, today we are going to be doing something a little bit different here on Maria Antoinette TV. We are going to be doing a DIY slouchy clutch. All right, let's jump right in. You're going to start with your fabric. I'm doing leather, but you can do denim, you can do faux fur, you can do anything you want. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and get your fabric prepped. I'm going to be cutting my fabric 16 by 24. Now this is the outer part of my fabric. I'm also going to repeat and I'm going to do it on the lining of the fabric, okay? Now, I decided to go with these measurements because this is a very common size in most like wrist bags, the kind that's like a doctor bag, and when you start to sew, it's gonna still give you enough space and still be oversized. So as you can see, I already have the lining cut, and the lining has two sides. So I'm going to make sure that the darkest side is actually the side that's exposed on the inside of the clutch because if it gets dirty it will be less detectable now I'm going to take the ends of that lining and I'm going to fold it over one fourth inch and I am going to pin it once I get it all the way pinned I am going to do a straight stitch all the way down each side of the ends of the lining okay you'll notice that I'm doing this separate from the outer shell of the clutch all right let's get into the zipper now this is a zipper that I repurposed but check the description bar below this video for all of the instructions as well as some links to cool places to find like really nice utilitary type zippers. As you can see, I'm simply pinning that inner lining into the back side of the zipper. Yes, this is on the back side of the zipper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stitch that on with a straight stitch all the way to the end, making sure I do a little bit of forward backwards on the start and finish of that stitch. Here's another great tip. Before moving forward, make sure that the zipper opens without snagging. This means that you did allow enough space for the zipper to work properly and for it to move freely. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and sew on the outer part, which is my leather. I'm gonna sew that on the right side of the zipper and I'm gonna sew that real, a little bit higher up than the lining. So the needle didn't have to go through so much fabric and that's why I sewed them separately and I'm just gonna repeat the same steps to the other side of the bag. As you can see, the bag is starting to take shape here. I'm now going to flip the bag inside out. I made a mistake here by sewing it with the zipper closed. I recommend that you guys sew it with the zipper open when you sew it inside out. Another tip besides leaving the zipper open when you turn the bag inside out is when you sew on the side where the zipper starts, go ahead and start from the top of that zipper and then when you sew on the side with the tail make sure you don't start into the zipper okay this is going to be important you're just going to go ahead and cut off all that excess zipper and voila here's the finished clutch now you can carry it as is but I decided to add on a nice keychain that I picked up in New York and that's it guys so I hope you enjoyed this video if you would like to see more DIY videos comment below I would love to share more of my little crafty side with you and I'll see you in the next video bye